What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Paper Mario. In the last part, we did we tackled some of the side quests we can do in between chapter one, chapter two, and this part we're gonna tackle the remaining side quests we're gonna do in between chapter one and chapter two. Now remember in the last part we have we have to uh Remember in the last part we have to go back to Goomba Village. So we're gonna take the little trip now. It's a little short. A little short, but um, there's gonna be a faster way to get back to Human Village at a later point. So unfortunately, we have to go all the distance. I'm only gonna go the distance. Like once we get the tape, I'm just gonna cut all the way back to Koopa Village. Then that, that is unless we get into a battle. So um, we should be able to avoid the enemies easier. But um, I don't know. With the speedy spin badge, you'll be able to avoid the enemies easier like that and that. Ah, I don't have to fight you. That, like that. Oh yeah, flawless. So we're now back at Goomba Village. So if we talk to them, Howdy Mario, how you doing? Mario, have you been beating up lots, lots of bad guys? Let's see what Goombario says. Mario, beat up lots of bad guys? He doesn't say anything. If we talk to his mother, Oh, my land sakes, Mom. Is my good father bothering you? How can you be here? Sometimes I worry. Ugh. Mom, come on. Cut it out. Now, we want to go to Goomba so we can get the tape. So, Mario, how goes the adventure thus far? Are you keeping cool? Keep your wits about you and you'll beat Bowser hands down. Hmm, Mario. Looks like something else is on your mind. What? Koopa Koop said he wants the tape back. That old Koopa, so he doesn't remember things from so long ago. Okay, wait for just a minute, I'll bring it out for you. Here, this is it. When you see that old Koopa, give him my regards and we get the tape. So I will, uh, I'll see you guys. Before I cut the Koopa Village, I want to teach you how to manipulate Chuck Quizmo's placement. You basically leave this area and go back. If you're in a town, if you want to manipulate Chuck Quizmo's placement, you can leave an area, you can leave an area he normally spawns and come back and then go back in this. Quiz! Did we see the quiz master to Quizmo? Wanna try the quiz? Yes. So let's get to the question. Question. What is the color of the block you can break with the first hammer you got? Yellow. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered two questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long. Farewell till we meet again. That's kind of how you can really manipulate Chuck Wismo's placement. Because there are 64 of these questions in the whole game. See you guys at Koopa Village. Alrighty, so now back at Koopa Village, we're gonna see what we're gonna give that tape to. Uh, we're gonna give that cape tape to Koopa Koop. See what he has to say. Oh, look, the Chuck Quizmo! Who is? I'm a favorite Chuck Quizmo. The Chuck Quizmo. Want to try quiz? Yes. Question: What really is for Goombar really is a uh, tattle? Correct. Congratulations. Here's your start piece. Roughly answered three questions so far. Good luck next time. Will, will. So long, fair out to meet again. Alrighty, so now we're gonna give the tape to Koopa Koot. Different show, guys. Mario, you're the real gent. Did Goopa complain? He, he, that's what just for my eternal gratitude. Oh, you don't have this, too, so I do this. We get one coin. Oh, what luck, he come part time, young man, can you do me a favor? Or so he's gonna ask for, he's asked for Koopa Kitty. So good thing we got the taste tea recipe. So I'm gonna go claim that from the item shop. There's a reason I did not recommend get taking and putting in the, selling the Koopa tea is cause you're gonna need that later. And you're also gonna need the nutty cake for one of his favors. So let's just say we're gonna go claim the, uh, we're gonna claim the Koopa tea. I'm not gonna pick claim anything else. Let's just say we're gonna give the uh give we're gonna give the Koopa T to a Koop, not Kensei Koopa. I'm thinking a later character. Great growling gulp it. You're definitely 
Compare, you defy comparison, Mario. Wondrous, excellent. Hmm, this is the spot. You know, this tea is just as del delicious ice as it is hot. You're a stand up guy for the game of the Renault Cooper so many fingers. It's time to give you this special gift of thanks. Everybody know. He's gonna give us three star pieces and he's gonna ask for a third favor, so. We're gonna have to go back to Toad Town and get Luigi's autograph. I'll see you guys in a second. So, uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Anyway, so back at our house, um, I guess we have to blow up the rock again, so... How did you get that rocket to respond, Luigi? Hi, Marty, I figured I'd have an adventure sooner or later, I'm training. Oh, wait, he's just saying same thing as before. What's that, Mario? You need something? Wait, what? Mr. Koopa Kid wants to get my autograph. Me, I'm gonna sign something? Whoa, cool, I'm flattered. I guess maybe I'm a little bit of celebrity, huh? Wait one second, right, right now. Here you are, Mario, my autograph. Give me regards to Mr. Koopa Kid, okay? So I will see you guys back at Koopa Village! Alrighty, so back at Cuba Village, we just have to- OH WAIT, CHUCK WISMO! I'm not gonna read- I'm not gonna read- Oh wait, no, I did not mean to say no to that! No! Oh my god. That's what happened when I say no to his quizzes. I did not mean to say no to that, but uh... Forget the auto- forget the autograph. Poppin' Hammer Brothers, you're a wizard, Mario. What? I have so many unique treasures now. What a lucky coop I am. Take this, I'm very grateful. We get one coin. Every once in a blue moon, he'll give us a, he'll give us some star pieces. So, uh, we have nine star pieces, so... I guess I'll see you guys at Shooting Star Summit. Alrighty, so at Shooting Star Summit, we're just gonna spend our star pieces, because we have nine of them, we can get a couple of badges. So, might as well go to, might as well go to Merlin and just get our star pieces, uh, just get, try our star pieces for badges, basically. But let's get, we're just gonna get some of the really cheap ones, like, uh, we'll get Attack FXA. I don't know why I got Attack FXB, FXB first. I guess we really wanted the Pretty Lucky badge. We'll get Payoff. And we'll get, um, we'll get Chill Out or Feeling Fine. Let's get Feeling Fine. I like that bat. We're gonna get feeling fine because I like that badge more. So, um, yeah. So, if we uh, check our badges, um, we can equip Attack FXA, but we'll need another level up to equip uh, Feeling Fine, which is a very solid badge, especially for this point in the game. But basically, basically, we can't get status elements, which we're about to see our first status elements in the next chapter. Anyway, so I guess, um, I guess that's it for the Koopa Koop favors, so, um, basically we're gonna tackle the remaining stuff we can do in Toad Town, so, um, since we did the first batch of Koopa Koop favors, I thought I could show you something we could do d down south of Toad Town, but first... Well, hello there! My name is Bulb. I come from Flower Fields, the wonderful land of flowers. I love this part of wonders flavor of flower fields all over your mind. You like flowers, don't you? Of course you do. Who doesn't? For that reason, I will trust you this to your care. We have the magical seed, which we're going to need for later. This is a flower for flavor. We're well for care for. We flower for bloom. These flowers are delicate, so only one in the loving heart can make them bloom in a beauty. Please take good care of it, for beauty is fragile. Anyway, so, um... I guess we're going to go and, um... This is how we get access to the thing Koopa Koop was telling us about the playground. Now, I'm gonna give you some advice about the playground, but this only works if you're playing a re-release. Either the Wii re-release or the Switch re-release works. Welcome, hello there, Mario. Welcome to the playroom. Today, you need a member credit. The kind of game you play depends on the kind of member credit you have. Cool, you have a silver credit. In that case, they'll make pipe to appear to so do a jack car. You want the best way to get coins? Well, if you're playing a re-release, I'll tell you. Greetings, my good man. This is the floor for jump attack. So, so here's here's what we do. Here's what we do. We basically he's basically gonna tell us how to play it. Select the nine block options, 
And guess what? Here's what we're gonna do. This is only if you're playing a re-release, either the Wii or Switch ports. Create a save state. So what we're gonna do, yeah, so we got a Bowser. So if you get a Bowser, you're out. So, um, so yeah, we know where the two Bowsers are. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna hit the remaining blocks. Actually, I don't like that. So we're gonna, you may call this cheating, but I just call it like fun. You can get a fuckload of coins if you, take, if you can take full advantage of this. This is harder if you're playing the 64 port because you can't use save states. So yeah, we got 230 coins out of that. So, um, yes, yeah, so we don't even really need to play that anymore. So, um, yeah. You can get a fuckload of coins in the Toad Playground, but, like, it's essentially gambling. You pay to get coins, and you don't always get coins. However, if you're playing a re-release, you can just use save states in this area. It's one of my favorite ways to get coins if, we're play if you're playing a re-release. So, um... We're just in my remaining badge. We're gonna buy D down pound because it's another great badge at this point in the game. We're gonna buy multi bounce. And we're gonna buy first attack. So that should be all the badges we can get in this area. So, um. Should be all the badges we can get in this area. So I guess we can do the. I guess we can do one last thing in Toad Town. You must be Mario. Welcome to my dojo. I am the master of the head of this dojo. Cough, hack, cough. Wheeze, pardon me. My health is rather delicate. Every day we can train in this dojo with blue body and mind. If you have the purpose and the desire, you may challenge us. Tell me what, what business have you here today. Try. Now we're going to fight the first of the opponents. I'm thinking I'm going to do this once per chapter. I'm going to try this once per chapter. Boy, here comes Chan the man. So we're going to use a power jump. Ooh, how dishonorable. We're gonna use a bomb. We don't really get any XP for this, though. We're gonna use one more bomb. And he should be almost down, so I'm just gonna, um... I'm gonna use a normal jump. And he's down! Enough! The winner is Mario. Chan, you must train harder. Very well, I'll give you this to Mario. We get this first degree card. You're welcome to train here at the same time. So that's the uh, first, the dojo. So I'm actually gonna go heal a bit before we go to the next. There's gonna be one last thing I wanna do before we go to chapter two. Except it's a little bit specific. It's also essentially a boss. So yeah, we're gonna have to take care of that. So what we're gonna do essentially is, um, we're gonna go to an area we haven't been to yet. This is the last thing we'll do in this area. We're gonna go to the, uh, not the private, but this is the, uh, Toad Town Tunnels. If we have, we can't access these two areas yet. So, but so I guess what, all we can really do is go here because we have the hammer. You cannot access this point. You can only access this point after chapter one. So, uh, these are new enemies. These are the um, these are the Gloombas. They're like the Goombas only stronger. So, um, yeah, and they have like eight HP. So they're very strong enemies for this point in the game. Go all in. I say we're gonna go all in and use bombs because um, we are almost to a level up, and these things, these enemies do give us a lot of XP for this point in the game. Anyway, so that's um, we're gonna get his hidden block, and it contains a super shroom. One more enemy to fight. I didn't get a first strike, unfortunately. Ooh, we might be in a bad position. Well, I have a, I have two super shrooms, so we're, we're fine. So, um, we're just gonna use a uh, power shell to multi-strike these enemies. Oh 
shit. Yeah, one more hit and we're dead, so I uh, think I we got two super shrooms. So we're just gonna power shell our way through this. They should give enough XP for a level up, essentially. So we're going to refresh. Because we're gonna need a level up after this battle, that's the good thing. But I don't have to go back to Toad Town and heal. I think two more one two more attacks should eventually ki essentially kill them out. Hell, I don't even I don't even need to use uh, power shell one more time because I can just um attack a spike gloomer. Yeah, he's uh, he's dead. He he's they're gonna give ten XP, which is they're gonna give Tartan Star points, which is enough for a level up. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase BP. So, um, I'm going to increase BP. So, um, what we're going to do is, um, we're going to get, we're going to put pretty lucky so we can dodge more hits. There might be a good chance with this boss coming up, I might not be able to beat him. But we'll see. Blooper! Anyway, this is the first out of the three blooper fights. I'd say this is the easiest of the bunch. He basically, I think he has like 20 something HP and like he can use two attacks. He can squirt ink and he can uh, jump on you. So I guess he's going to do the first attack. The good news is if you have close call and pretty lucky equip, it uppers the chances the enemies have of missing if you're in danger. I failed the action command. Yeah, this is essentially, this might, since we use both of our, actually we have one more super shroom, but um, this is going to be the first time I'm going to be trying danger strats, which um, is common in Paper Mario, which, which really peril strats is common in Paper Mario speedrunning, but um, danger strats essentially intentionally putting yourself in danger so you can get more benefits. It's a very risky way of playing Paper Mario, but it can come to high reward. No, I oh no, he didn't miss. So um, I'm not gonna chance to see. I'm not gonna chance to see if I can get a miss. Cause I think I think a few more hits, he should be dead. Yeah, it's a very strong bar boss for this point in the game, so that's we don't have any upgrades, and he's dead. That's 20 star points, so, um, yeah. And what we're gonna get out of this is none other than the Shrink Stomp badge, so... I guess that is the very last we're gonna do in this part of Paper Mario, so... Next time on Paper Mario, we're gonna go to Chapter 2. See you guys then.